check hello ladies and gentlemen a very good evening to one and all i ms jina latia and i ms sujata sandhu will be, will the, be host the host of, of today's, today's program. program and we, we welcome, welcome you all. all the graduation ceremony will be starting shortly we will appreciate and request you all to kindly switch your mobile phone to silent mode do not take photograph during graduation ceremony as we have formal arrangement for a professional photographer it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the 19th graduation ceremony of st francis institute of management and research for the mms and pgdm batch of 2020-22 and part time batch of 2019-22 I request you all to rise as graduation procession begins. So, kindly welcome the stars of today's event as they march in with Dr. Ujwala Chakradev, the chief guest for today, Reverend Brother C. P. Joseph, General Counselor and Director of Saint Francis Industrial Training Institute, Reverend Brother Alphonse Nesman. Chairman of St Francis Institute of Management and Research and Assistant Superior General CMSF led by Dr Shalini Sena Director St Francis Institute of Management Studies and Research and respected dignitaries The MMS batch 2020-2022 is led by Dr. G. Ramesh, Deputy Director and MMS Program Head.
Lifetime Batch 2019-2022 is led by CMA Dr. Natika Bota, part-time program head. A beautiful motivational quote by Mr. Pelly. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing and learning to do. Graduation day marks culmination of years of hard work and dedication towards academic excellence. It is an opportunity for students to be recognized for their academic achievements and the efforts they have put in to attain their degrees. It brings a sense of accomplishment and pride, not just for the graduates, but also for their families and beloved ones. The graduation ceremony is a momentous occasion that acknowledges the perseverance of graduates. It also symbolizes a transition from one phase of life to another. For many students, graduation marks the end of the academic journey and the beginning of the new chapter. This brings starting of a new job, pursuing further education, or embarking a new venture. With this thought, let me welcome you all again to the 19th degree distribution ceremony of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research. As a mark of an undying tradition, we will begin this auspicious occasion with the institutional anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request you all to please rise for the invocation. Thank you. 
your seats light is a universal symbol of truth and knowledge may the light of this lamp remind us of infinite potential that lies within us and inspire us to reach for the stars with that i request our dignitaries dr ujwala chakradev reverend brother cp joseph Reverend Brother Alphonse Nesmani, Reverend Brother Shantilal Kujur, Reverend Brother Stanley Matthew, Reverend Brother Pakia Nathan, Reverend Brother Xavier Munda, Reverend Brother T V George, Reverend Brother M M Matthew, Mr Dominic De Souza. Miss Tilottama Vaidya, Miss Sheetal Malekar, who has registered for today's convocation, to come forward and light the lamp. thank you all the dignitaries may the divine plava bless us all the best spiritual connection is the connection that we have with others prayer dance is a way of expressing thankfulness to the almighty i now request our student Miss Mansi Mali and Miss Martina Chako to perform a prayer dance.
Martina. It was indeed a graceful performance. Success is a fruit of hard work and persistence. This day is much awaited event in every student's life as it gives the returns to their efforts. The convocations of ceremony of University of Mumbai was held on 23rd February 2023. We request our technical team to show your expert excerpts of the same. शैक्षणिक वर्षाच्या दीक्षांत समारंभासाठी उपस्थित असल्यांचं सगळ्यांचं आदरपूर्वक स्वागत द डिरेक्टर ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ एक्झामिनेशन अँड इव्हॅल्युएशन विल लीड द प्रोसेशन हिल बी फॉलोड बाय द मेंबर्स ऑफ सिनेट देन द मेंबर्स ऑफ अकॅडमिक काउन्सिल दे विल बी फॉलोड बाय द मेंबर्स ऑफ मॅनेजमेंट काउन्सिल आफ्टरवर्ड्स व्हेरियस डीन्स ऑफ डिफरंट फॅकल्टीज दे विल बी फॉलोड बाय द रजिस्ट्रार Honorable Chief Guest Dr. Anil Sahasrabuddhe After the Dr. Anil Sahasrabuddhe sir the Vice Chancellor of this Mumbai University Honorable Dr. Shirke sir he will be followed by the Pro Vice Chancellor sir and lastly the newly graduated people the real future of this India विद्वज्जन हो आता दीक्षांत समारंभाला प्रारंभ होत आहे ज्या स्नातकांनी पदव्यांसाठी आणि पदविकांसाठी स्वतःची पात्रता सिद्ध केलेली आहे त्यांना त्या पदव्या आणि पदविका प्रदान करण्यासाठी मुंबई विद्यापीठ हा दीक्षांत समारंभ सुरू करीत आहे तरी स्नातकांना उपस्थित करण्यात यावे अहवाल सादर करत असताना येतो ऐकत असताना आपल्याला सगळ्यांना प्रचंड आनंद होतो आज नवस्नातकांना पदवीदान करण्याचा समारंभ आहे आणि अशा कार्यक्रमाला उपस्थित असणाऱ्या डॉक्टर अनिल सहस्रबुद्धे यांना आपण ऐकणार सर्वांना सप्रेम नमस्कार सर्व विद्यापीठांनी एकमेकांशी सहकार्य करणे आवश्यक आहे वी ऑलवेज कॉम्पिट विथ इच अदर रँकिंगमध्ये कुणाचं जास्ती रँक आला आहे ठीक आहे ठीक आहे विद्यार्थ्यांच्यामध्ये पण रँक कुणाचा पहिला जास्ती मार्क आले ह्याच्याबद्दल विचार करतो पण आपण त्याच्या बरोबरीने कोलॅबरेशन कोऑपरेशनवरती सुद्धा भर दिला पाहिजे म्हणजेच आपण ह्या एकवीसव्या शत शताब्दीमध्ये जो भारताचा हा विषय आहे की भारत पूर्ण जगाला काही ना काही देऊ शकतो ह्याच्यावर आमचा सर्वांचा विश्वास आहे तो आपण संपादन करू असं मला वाटतं आजचा दिवस तुमच्या आयुष्यातील महत्त्वाचा दिवस आहे तसेच तुमच्या जीवनप्रवासातील एक महत्त्वाचा टप्पा आहे तुम्हाला आठवत असेल की तुमचे उच्च शिक्षणाचे कार्य येथेच जोमाने सुरू झाले पण इथे संपणार नाही मला हे नक्की माहिती आहे की जीवनाच्या प्रयोगशाळेतील अनिश्चितता आणि आव्हानांना सामोरे जाण्याचा आणि यश आणि अपयशांना सकारात्मक वृत्तीने सामोरे जाण्याचा पूर्ण आत्मविश्वास जोपर्यंत तुम्हाला वाटत नाही तोपर्यंत तुमचे शिक्षण संपले आहे असं समजू नका सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांना तुमच्या जीवनातील इच्छित ध्येय गाठण्यासाठी मी पुन्हा एकदा मनपूर्वक शुभेच्छा देतो धन्यवाद जय हिंद भारत माता की जय नमस्कार दीक्षांत समारंभ समाप्त झाला असे मी घोषित करीत आहे विविध विद्याशाखांचे अधिष्ठाते व्यवस्थापन परिषद Now I invite the following dignitaries to kindly come on the dais our chief guest for today Dr Ujwala Chakradev honorable vice chancellor of SNDT University Reverend brother CP Joseph 
General Counselor and Director of St. Francis Industrial Training Institute, Reverend Brother Alphonse Nesimani, Chairman of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research and Assistant Superior General CMSF, Reverend Brother Shantilal Kujur, Director of St. Francis Institute of Technology, Reverend Brother Benny Paul, Director of Institute of Hotel Management, Reverend Brother Xavier Munda, Register of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Dr. Shalini Sinha, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Dr. Sulba Ravrane, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Dr. G. Ramesh, Deputy Director and MMS Program Head of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Dr. Dilip Patil, former Director of DLLE, University of Mumbai, Dr. Natika Podda, Part-Time Program Head, I request Reverend Brother Alphonse Nesimoni, our chairman, to kindly deliver the welcome address. Good evening. And warm welcome to all of you on this auspicious day of graduation ceremony of the class of 2022 at St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Borubili, Mumbai. Yes. On behalf of all our graduates, their parents, faculty members, and the management, we would like to accord a warm welcome to our chief guest, Dr. Ujwala Sak Radio, Honorable Vice Chancellor, SNDT University, Mumbai. Madam, yes. we are extremely happy to welcome you in our midst on this auspicious day of degree and diploma distribution ceremony. The graduates will be receiving their certificates from the NAC accredited our own institute. St. Francis Institute of Management and Research. A hearty welcome. We are happy to welcome in our midst Brother C.P. Joseph, representative of Brother Dr. Joseph Karimalayal, Superior General and President of the Society of the Franciscan Brothers. Brother C.P. Joseph is one of the general counselors who work closely with the Superior General in all the affairs of the congregation. Currently, he is also the director of St. Francis Industrial Training Institute. Thank you and welcome, dear brother, on this auspicious day of degree and diploma distribution ceremony. Our hearty welcome to all the general Kuria members, Franciscan brothers from all our three campus communities, Head of St. Francis Group of Institutions, Board of Governors and Board of Studies, Executive Committee members, members of the College Development Committee, Academic and Placement Development Committee members, those who are sitting on the desk and off the desk, parents, guardians, friends and well wishes, office bearers and members of St. Francis Alumni Association, a warm welcome to all of you. Talia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. We appreciate the very presence of Professor Dr. Salini Sina, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Brother Sevia Registrar, Dr. G. Ramesh, Deputy Director and Program Heads of 
MMS and PhD programs, Assistant Professor Sanjay Banerji, Academic Coordinator, Dr. Sulba Raurane, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, PGDM, Brother T.V. George, Registrar, PGDM, Dr. Arokya Raj David, Academic Coordinator of PGDM, CMA Dr. Nathika Podar, Program Head of Part-Time MFM and MMM Degree Program, Dr. Sumita Yesudasan, IQAC Coordinator. On behalf of everyone at the St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, I extend a warm welcome to all of you. Yes. Yes. Dear faculty members and non-teaching staff of the Institute, and our graduates starts of the day. A warm welcome to you all. On this occasion, we acknowledge and appreciate the presence of parents, teaching fraternity, departmental heads, and their team, admin executives, and all other staff for their dedicated services to our graduates. I welcome all of you. Yes. Today is a day of recognition as we acknowledge the success and achievements of graduating stars of our institution. Success that has come through personal sacrifice, perseverance, hard work, and dedication. It is a solemn and a joyous moment for all of us, despite all the difficulties and uncertainties caused by pandemic COVID-19. Congratulations to all our graduates. May God continue to bless you abundantly. Yes. Our sincere feelings of gratitude to all our organizing committee members and student coordinators for their efforts and unstinting support to make this event a success. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Chairman, sir, for your gracious welcome. We will felicitate our dignitaries on the dais with the saplings. I request Ms. Sangeeta Verma to do the honors. We'll be start with our chief case for the day, Dr. Ujwala Chakradev, Honorable Vice Chancellor, SNDT University. Thank you, ma'am. Reverend Brother C.P. Joseph, General Counselor and Director of St. Francis Industrial Training Institute. Thank you, ma'am. Reverend Brother Shantilal Kujur, Director of St. Francis Institute of Technology. Thank you, ma'am. Reverend Brother Benny Paul, Director of St. Francis Institute of Hotel Management. Thank you, ma'am. Dr. Dilip Patil, former Director of DLLE, University of Mumbai. Thank you. Ms. Sangeeta Verma, Madam. A special gathering on an auspicious occasion like this deserves a special address too. And what can be more special than the inspiring word from the Superior General himself? Superior General Reverend Brother Joseph Karimalai was born in Kuninji, Kothamangalam, Kerala in year 1977 he left the comfort of his home and joined the congregation of missionary brother of St. Francis of Assisi to witness the love of God through words and deeds, taking inspiration from the life of St. Francis of Assisi and brother Paulus Moritz, the founder of the congregation. 
He did his PhD in clinical psychology in Manila, Philippines. In 1996, he was selected as Assistant Superior General. At that time, he was mandated to start our centers in New York, Houston, and in Canada. Presently, he is elected as Superior General of the International Congregation, which is spread out in five continents of the world. Brother Dr. Joseph Karimalail possesses good people skill and leadership. He is compassionate to the poor and downtrodden. He is one of the founder of St. Francis Institute of Technology and St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Mumbai. Due to unavoidable circumstances, our superior general brother, Dr. Joseph Karimalai, is not able to grace the occasion. We have AV recording to hear the message and words of blessing. I request our technical team to play the AV. I'm happy to be here at St. Francis Institute of Management and Research as it is celebrating the graduation day. He had said, I wish to congratulate every one of you for the great achievement you have attained in your life. I wish to thank the chairman, director and faculty members for this outstanding success your students have reached. It is through your constant accompaniment, guidance and cooperation that our students have done well. As for you, the graduating students, congratulations. You have done it. You have worked so hard to reach this special goal. You make every one of us proud. And as your dream becomes a reality, may it bring all the happiness you always hoped it would in your life and in the life of your dear and near ones. May the coming years bring you continued success. As you move out of this institution, I wish to remind you to remain rooted, keeping in your mind your family, dear and near ones who made sacrifices for your success. Be committed to whatever you do. Give your best to whatever you undertake. Be messengers of peace and justice. And I'm sure all of you will continue to be successful in life too. I wish to give you the blessing which St. Francis of Assisi, the patron of our college, used to give to his followers. May the Lord bless you and smile on you. May he show his face to you and have mercy on you. May he turn his countenance to you and give you peace. May God bless you. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Reverend Brother Dr. Joseph Karimalai, for your inspiring address which covers the aspect like to show courage in life and face reality of life which brings happiness in life. Our chief guest for the event is Dr. Ujwala Chakradi, Vice Chancellor of SNDT University. She is an architect and urban planner. She graduated from Vishweshwaraya Regional College of Engineering, Nagpur in 1984. She is in teaching architecture since 1985. 
completed mtech and phd from vnit in 1989 and 2006 respectively her experiences with her students are documented in marathi book skin ani t skin published by sahitya prasara kendra nagpur in 2013 experiments in experiential learning motivated her to document student study tour work at Bhutan and Hershey Valley. She is the co-author of two books, Anubhuti 1 and Anubhuti 2, published by in-house publication cell of the college. A chapter on life cycle assessment, methods and procedures in encyclopedia of renewable and sustainable material by elsewhere in 2019. Many research papers are to her credit as well. She is also the fellow at Indian Institute of Architects and associate member of Council of Architecture. Eleven scholars have been awarded PhD under her guidance. Four scholars are pursuing PhD at present under her guidance. She has five copyrights to her credit. She has undertaken professional projects such as architect and interior designer for government and private clients. Member of various prestigious organizations such as President of Maharashtra Association of School of Architecture, Member of Bharatiya Shiksha Mandal, All, All India Board of Town and Country Planning of AICT, PG Board of COA, NEP Committee of COA. She is the chairperson of the committee constituted by the government of Maharashtra for the implementation of national education policy in Maharashtra. I request the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam, to deliver the graduation address. Good evening, everyone, all the dignitaries on the DS, parents, and my dear students. It's a wonderful evening, isn't it? I feel equally excited, though I've been attending such programs, but every program is equally uh, important and ex uh, exciting to me. I, am a, I understand that this is one of the most important uh, event in your life. It's a, it's, the life is going to change. It's a threshold to the new life for you all. Actually, you have been graduated almost a year ago. And now you, are entering, you have already entered into the new life. This is just an acknowledgement of that particular aspect. I am aware that at the time of your farewell, Many messages, many uh, advices might have been given. Actually, standing here, I am also supposed to give you lots of advices for your life, which you are now, which you will be facing now onwards. No more you will be the students, though in heart you have to be the student for life, forever. Because keep on learning and learning uh, for, at every moment of your life is something which is necessary even for any person. And we do that. It's only the question of acknowledging it that we are learning at every point of time. And we have to create situations where we keep on learning. If we feel that I know everything, then I think we have stopped growing. That's my first message to you all, that let, your, let the student in you be always alive, be a child at heart, always be not taking more of your time because i'm aware that you all are waiting for the most important aspect of getting your degree uh, a most important part of this function but i would definitely love to share the story of jonathan the seagull a book which i cherish at every moment of my life and I keep on distributing the copy of that book to you all, written by Richard Bach. I'm sure many of you have read about that book or read the book itself. May I have the hands raised if somebody has read that book or heard about it? 
I don't see hands. Maybe it's an old-fashioned or quite an old for my age. I have, um, I, I have been reading this book at every part of my life, every stage of my life. Let me narrate the story within a minute to you all. Jonathan is a, girl, is a, a sea girl who is on the seashore, but he's very different from his family, his colleagues, his friends. And unlike his all family members on the seashore, he is interested not in collecting the piece of food or in the form of a fish in the uh, sea, but he is interested in developing the skill of flying. People laugh at him. When they see him practicing flying high, they tell him, that's not we are what we are for. Seagulls cannot fly, fly high. You need not waste your time in doing that. But he's least bothered, least interested. He focuses, meditates, and keep on practicing on and on and on to an extent that he goes very weak. And his parents are worried, saying that, what are you doing? This is not what seagulls do. Be happy, catch fish, eat a lot, be healthy. And that's what the life is for. But he is somehow not convinced and keeps on uh, practicing for flying high. A day comes when there is a drought and there is not a single fish in the, on the shore. And all his brothers, all his sisters, the entire family is now hungry and do not, does not have food. He points out there is a uh, ship far deep inside the she uh, sea and somebody has to go to that place, collect the fish and come back. But how would the seagull go there because seagulls cannot fly high? He tries. And because of his practice, he can reach the ship, which is deep inside the sea, collects the fish, comes back, gives it to his brothers, back, again goes. And then others are happy, they realize, oh, that's why his flying was important, his skill was important. Once he's done that, the fish which he collected was not for himself, but for his family, for his other members of his brethren. He once achieves that skill, he goes for the higher skill and then the higher and then he achieves the skill to such an extent that he could fly to the heaven also and the story goes on and there is no limit that's there. He realizes that other people around in the heaven are actually also looking for the higher skills and so on so forth. So there is no end to it. There are two messages in the stories. Dear girls, dear boys, all my students, this is what the life is all about. If you aim for just worldly things, I want to earn lots of money through my graduation. After my graduation, I should get a healthy package. I should be, have a nice house, get married, settle down, have a nice car. You are entitled to dream this. You should have it. And you are meant to have it, yet life doesn't end there. You can focus right from this day onwards, what is your ambition? What do you really want in your life? And what you really want to do beyond these things? And instead of wasting your energies on all these worldly things, you can focus on real aim of your life and probably all these things will follow you. You need not follow them. And that's what I wanted to share with you all. I'm so happy that I'm this evening, I'm sharing, I'm, I'm amongst you all at the most important moment of your life. And I will equally cherish these memories with me as you all will with me. Thank you so much. Thank you, madam for your inspiring words, which has a very good takeaways for all of us. The very beginning, the ma'am has started with, let the student in you be alive. We should always be a child. Along with that, you need to always focus, aim high, 
work harder and at the end you need to give back to your family as well okay apart from that don't only aim your career looking after the money as the main aspect there are also the various aspects of your life but that ideally thanks ma'am once again i request dr shalini sena director st francis institute of management and research to present our chief guest dr ujwala chakradev a memento and gift as a token of our love and gratitude the audience this gift is not an ordinary gift it is biodegradable and sustainable product keeping in mind of sustainable development goal of g20 i also request dr sulba ravrane director of st francis institute of management and research pgdm to present reverend brother cp joseph general counselor and director of st francis industrial training institute as a token of our gratitude The most awaited moment is finally here. Yes, now it's a time we acknowledge the talent of our brimming buddies. The fruit of hard work and discipline will be finally reap. You will now be receiving your prize, degrees, and diploma certificates, a symbol of accomplishment. As always, we will begin this ceremony by distributing the gold medal to the various program toppers. Mrs Anna and Mr Paul Curious Memorial Award is a gold medal which is instituted by Mrs Alice and Mr Augustine Curious in memories of their parents Mrs Anna and Mr Paul Curious it is for the student who has secured first rank in academics in aggregate of all semester as Mr Augustine Curious is not well I request Reverend Brother Dr. Alfons Nasamani to come forward and give away the award. I also request Reverend Brother C. P. Joseph to accompany him for the same. For MMS program, the gold medal goes to Mr. Aaron Nevis. Yes a big round of applause It's a proud moment for everyone The second topper for MMS is Ms Ruhi Desai. Come on guys, you can clap. In. Warm congratulation to Aaron and Ruhi for the PGDM program. The gold medal award goes to Mr. Hershel Suvarna.
the second top of pgdm is miss verina was due to our unavoidable circumstances she is not here with us in this auspicious occasion once again congratulations to hershel and verina the finance topper award is given to topper in specialization subject mr agustin curious institute the award in fond memory of father joseph curious the award goes to mr hershel suvarna once again congratulations come on guys keep on clapping The second topper for the finance specialization is Mr. Bronson Mascarenas. Congratulation Bronson Thank you brother Alphonse Nasimani and Arun brother CP Joseph Shrimati N Saraswati amma and she cares Gopinathan award is a gold medal which is instituted by professor Dr G Ramesh in kind remembrance of his parents Shrimati N Saraswati amma and she cares Gopinathan Nayar This gold medal is given to the students who has ranked first in academics from the part-time program. I invite Reverend Brother Alphonse Nasimani and Professor Dr. G Ramesh to come forward to give away the medal. The gold medal for part-time program goes to Miss Rafat Sheikh from MMM. <laughs> Congratulations Rafat the second topper for part time program is Jobi Koi Kalet from MFM <laughs> Guys keep on clapping for your friends Congratulations Jobi thank you brother Alphonse Nasimani and Dr G Ramesh congratulations to all the toppers I request our chief guest Dr Ujwala Chakradev to come forward for the distribution of graduation degree certificate and request Dr Shalini Sena director St Francis Institute of Management and Research to accompany her I also request Dr G Ramesh MMS program head to take up the degree distribution of MMS Thank you Ms Gina Latia and Ms Sujata Salvi Respected chief guest all dignitaries present of the days and on the days dear parents our faculty members and staff and more importantly the students 
the graduating students a very pleasant evening today honorable vice chancellor ma'am i dr j ramesh head of the program mms master of management studies present to you the candidates who have been examined and found qualified for the post graduate program namely master of management studies of the batch 2020 2022 for the award of the degree certificates the first candidate ms sheetal malekar Roni Kajitan Robin Vaidya Grace Knight Mark Carvalho Achil De Silva Tejaswini Dabare Devyani Gurav Yakshuki Surve Sanyukta Kotiyan Ariba Khan Royden Miranda Lance Gonzalez Wilben Pereira Nel Pereira Ruhi Desai <coughs> Vian Suttanka Janvi Shah
Melvin Fernandez. Vidami Salanki. Smith Nagda. You can all extend round of applause. Yogesh Belwal. Sagar Katri. Prem Kumar Mariappa. Vensi Craster. Lakshman Thevar. Pranita Patil Janis Disa Snowil Tristano Divya Marali Dharan Anna Rose Joy Anisha Ajay Sharon Thomas Andrea De Cruz Sonia Naik Smith Miranda Anish George Yogesh Sharma Rohan Kadam Alin De Silva
See you on speaker. Alma de Silva. Justin Pereira. Nijin Saji. Viani Sergio. Mark Dikana Samiksha Vedak Russell Jabri Sherwin D'Souza Ruina Fernandez Ria Fernandez Anjali Nair Sanil Garat Tarba Sakra Rutuja Prabhudesai Jason George Harshit Desai Yash Devalia Nisha Soni Ruta Mori Christina Paul Carol D'Souza Aaron Nevis
mayor con Soumya Devadiga Shweta Tamle Celeste Kurshingal Karan Kanakia Priscilla Duray Real Bole Ruth Gustado Christy Bolson Nishikanda Matre Swapna Jaiswal Aaron Patnaik Anusha Bhatt Anit Dais Clavin Vegas Kiran Auti Amit Kumar Dubey Yogesh Raja Yogesh Raja Sneha Paul Harris Lopez
Robin, Rebello. Ignatius Gonzalez. Bronson Mascarenas. Preeti Pal. Franklin De Costa. Ruchita Ribello. Chaitali Vartak. Sanya and it is Brazil Fernandez. Zeel Shah Nisha Gokan J. Tavde Projecta Bale Junaid Patek Deepak Yadav Fabian Sabu Pushparaj Shakti Vipul Katri Sahil Lopez Michelle Joseph Rodriguez
Lindsay James Nina the Gavande Sadanand Chavan Pooja Jerome Urbi Pava Ranoti Shalke Abhishek Kadbani Salomi Damli Kunal Shelke Karva Kartik Papula and uh, Abhijit Borsi. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Hearty congratulations to all the graduated students and uh, best wishes. Although all of them are placed, well placed, best wishes is a green, it's evergreen. So, best wishes to all the students. I now call upon the, pa the part time program. I now call upon the part time program head, Dr. Natika Poddar, to take the proceedings further. Thank you so much. I request, uh, I request uh, Reverend Brother uh, Shantilal Kujur and uh, Reverend Brother Benny Paul to come forward to distribute the certificates. Over to Dr. Natika Padar. Thank you so much, Ramesh sir. Good evening, everyone. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam, I C M A Dr. Natika Podar. Head of MFM Triple M program, present to you the candidates who have been examined and found qualified for the postgraduate program, namely Masters of Financial Management and Master of Marketing Management of the batch 2019-2022 for the award of degree certificates. The first candidate is Savant Omkar. Chobe Gaurav Khade Sumit Shah Harsh Shah 
शेख रफत रावरा ने अमोल मंडालिया प्रियंका डिसूजा डोमनेक फर्नांडिस अनिशा मैथ्यू सिबेस्टिन पुजारी दक्षिता मात्रे हिनाली पुत्रन रितेश मयूर कंचन अविनाश मंडल थामकर निकिता गंगाल कांतिलाल आईरे प्राजक्ता शिंदे दीपाली सावंत दिप्तेश कोयकल जॉबी टिल्सन टोनी लास्ट अक्षय मूल्य थैंक यू ब्रदर शांतिलाल थैंक यू ब्रदर पेन प्लीज टेक योर सीट्स आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर जी नल एंड प्रोफेसर सुजाता टू काइंडली टेक फॉरवर्ड थैंक यू ऑल Thank you, CMA Dr. Natika Podda. I request Reverend Brother C. P. Joseph to come forward to distribute the PGDM graduation diploma certificate, and request Reverend Brother Xavier Munda to accompany him. I also request Dr. Sulba Ravrane, Director of Saint Francis Institute of Management and Research, 
PGDA to take up the degree distribution of PGDA. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam, respected guests and dignitaries, I, Dr. Silva Raurane, Director, PGDM, present to you the candidates who have been examined and found qualified for the postgraduate program PGDM of the batch 2022 for the award of the graduation certificates. The first candidate is Govind Kumar Yadav. Karina Seth Janice Clyde Joseph Paresh Levisa Bandari Sujit Yadav Riddhi Shah Mansi Patankar Alan Disuza Ruben Rodriguez. Insia Gadiali Kavita Atarde Kiran Pandey Apurva Sarfare Sugni Sutar Ankita Shetty Gauri Kulkarni Shrenik Pritodra
ರಶ್ಮಿ ಗೌಡ ಮೀತ್ ಶೇಖ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ್ ಜುಂಗಾರೆ ಧನೇಶ್ ಸಿಂಧೆ ರುಚಾ ಕೆಲ್ಸ್ಕರ್ ರಂಜನ್ ಗಾವಡೆ ರಿಷಬ್ ರಾಕೇಶ್ ನತಾಶಾ ನೆಲ್ಸನ್ ಎತನ್ ಫರ್ನಾಂಡಸ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಜೋಶಿ ಸುರ್ಬಿ ಘರತ್ ಹರ್ಷಿಲ್ ಸುವರ್ಣ ಶಿವಾನಿ ಯಾದವ್ ದಿಶಾ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ಹರ್ಲಿನ್ ಗಿಲ್ ಉನ್ನತಿ ಮಹಾಜನ್ ನೀಲಕಂಠ ಸಾವಂತ್ ಜಯ ವಿಮಲ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ನಾಥ್ ರಚನಾ ನಾಯರ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ರಾಯ್ ರಿಕಿತಾ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ತನ್ವಿ ಕಾಂಬಳಿ ಸೂರಜ್ ಚವಾಣ್ ಮಿ 
ವಿಶೇಷಿನ ಸಲೋನಿ ಪವಾರ್ ಸುಮೇಧ್ ಶಿಂದೆ ಸಿಮರ್ಪ್ರೀತ್ ಕೌರ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ಚಂದ್ ಕುಮಾವತ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಬ್ರದರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ರೆವರೆಂಡ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಜೋಸಫ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ರೇವಿಯಾ ಜೇವಿಯಾ ಮುಂಡಾ and dr sulba ravrani once again congratulations to all our degree and diploma holders can we all hear it for ourselves okay till not that loud can we hear it once again for ourselves okay we are very proud of your achievement i'm sure the entire audience is eager to hear a few words from the valedictorians so let me request aaron nevis to deliver the valedictorian speech as an mms topper so hi guys a very good evening to my dear fellow graduates esteemed faculty members distinguished guests and our dear family and friends i aaron antonio gloria nevis i am deeply honored standing before you today as the valedictorian of the mba class of 2022 it was last year ago today thank god for the offline lectures of natika ma'am During those lectures there were warnings by ma'am saying students padhai karo padhai board exams ko lightly mat lo fir kati lag jayegi fifth graduation ke din aap apne pass hue doston ko youtube pe graduate hote dekhoge and yes things have changed and here we are the outstanding graduates of 2022 Thank you Nathika ma'am for pushing us towards excellence by your moving words. <laughs> Graduation is not a sad occasion. It is something to cry and get historical about. Granted there is a huge possibility. In fact, a high probability that we will never see each other again. But that's not so bad, is it? <laughs> we started our journey journey with excitement and enthusiasm only to have our world turned upside down by covid-19 our in person classes were replaced with online lectures our networking events were cancelled and our daily routines were disrupted by regular regularly setting alarm at 7 am in the morning which shifted to 9 am alarm to get up for 9 am lecture in the morning <laughs> just kidding we went through all that and look where it got us sitting around with a batman cape and a hat on us you all look good i can tell you well you all are all big kids now ready to face the world and when i look around i see a lot of adults that's because there happened to be a lot of parents here no i mean you guys you are not a freshman anymore you have brains now and you all are prepared to tackle anything 
and you don't just have your heads full of numbers and dates and formulas you don't just build bridges and dig tunnels all your lives and then die but you actually cross these bridges and go through these tunnels and then die i don't want to preach now you have, you have to use what you have learned show what you have acquired and you have to go into the world as members of the class of 2022 who have defeated covid and are graduated it felt so good after my name was announced for the title for about 15 seconds maybe i was hoping all of my problems would fade away in comparison to this amazing achievement but none of that made me happy i realized the stress of this year for the goals and a speech was paid for the lack of attending relationships in my life nothing is more important than your healthy relationships enjoy your life to the fullest i just want to tell you this the job your profession and whatever you do in life use it use it to sell your profession earn lot of money earn and be happy emotionally look after your parents the way they have looked after you but just like this gown make sure your ideologies and ideals are not for sale ever in the words of charlie lafton when you got god you got friends and that friends are you all i want to thank my friends mayu kiran nisha prishti zeel sheetal ruhi yogesh amay clavin melvin and my it colleague rohan for who have been with me on this journey you have been my source of strength my sounding board and my cheerleaders together we have shared shared moments of joy laughter and even tears and i am grateful for each and every one of you i would also like to take a moment to acknowledge and praise the infrastructure of our college the college's technological advancement have enabled us to participate in online classes and access e resources from any part of the world the comfortable and welcoming campus environment has made our time here enjoyable and fulfilling we are truly grateful for all the resources that have been made available to us during our time and special thanks to chairman brother director and our management and yes there's a woman a woman in my life and yes she is none other than my mother gloria nevis hi mom who has helped right from the beginning of my career path and my dad you have always been there for me pushing me to the best version of myself to my elder brother thank you for being my role model my confidant and my friend my family members thank you for your unconditional love and support i would like to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to our faculty members administrators and college staff and sincere gratitude to my specialization faculty vasudha ma'am during our online as well as offline lectures thank you ma'am Finally I want to can- congratulate my fellow graduates for their remarkable achievement completing an MBA is no small feat and to do so during a global pandemic pandemic is truly exceptional i am proud to be standing here today among such an accomplished and inspiring group of individuals in this regards i am not surprisingly not ashamed to admit that i am going to miss you all but most importantly the most important people i have met without miss sanchaita a help this is this speech will not exist and i will certainly not be literate enough to read it now i won't bore you all now i will end my speech saying shikshan hi ek amulya sampatti ahe jacha mule aplya jivan bhar betnyacha sthitit samjat asto education is priceless asset whose value we realize throughout our lives by constantly engaging with it this is not the end but the beginning of a new chapter in our lives we have tools knowledge and determination to achieve our goals and make a positive impact thank you and congratulations to the mba class of 2022 it's aaron nevis and signing out thank you aaron for the wonderful speech I invite PGDM valedictorian 
Mr. Harshil Suvarna to deliver the speech now. A very warm good evening to each and every one of you present here. Respected uh, guests on, on the dais, uh, all the parents and the, my fellow batchmates, it is an honor to stand before you today as we celebrate our culmination of hard work, dedication and perseverance. We have all faced challenges and hardships that no one could have predicted when we started this journey. We have faced a global pandemic that has disrupted our lives uh, in ways which we could have never have imagined. We may have been physically apart, but we have managed to come together in a virtual space and support each other throughout our journey. So our experience of PGDM has been quite different than those previous batches. Even though we had a virtu virtual education, our professors never failed to share their knowledge and personal experiences, which helped us to grow and learn better. We had assignments, group projects, which at times felt tedious to do. But looking at the corporate world, these were just skill development sessions for us to be ready for it. We also had a lot of guest lectures regarding specialization topics, which further enhance our technical knowledge. So today, as we celebrate our accomplishments, we also acknowledge those who have helped us along the way. We thank our professors, families, batchmates and friends for their unwavering support and guidance. We recognize the sacrifice they have made for us and they have helped, made us, uh, helped us achieve our goals. So as we move forward, let us remember the lessons that we have learned during this challenging time. Let us remember that anything is possible if we work hard and believe in ourselves. Let us remember that we are stronger together than we are alone. Growth is the product of struggle. You must do what others don't to achieve what others won't. So to all my fellow graduates, I congratulate you once again on your achievements and wish you the best in your future endeavors. Let us keep moving forward and make our mark on our world. So thank you. Thank you, Harsha. That was really an inspiring speech. I now request stopper from MMM, Ms. Rafat Sheikh, to deliver the valedictorian speech. My dear fellow graduates, distinguished guests, dignitaries, management representative, staff and faculty member, it's my honor and privilege to stand before you today on this momentous occasion of our graduation. As we reflect our journey, I am reminded of a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dream. We all had a dream when we started this journey a dream to achieve something great, to create a better future for ourselves and those around us. We worked hard, we struggled, we faced challenges, but we preserved. Has the, or has this, and today we stand here as one of the graduates of the most prestigious program, ready to embark the journey, the next phase of our journey. As we reflect on the college experience, it is impossible to ignore the sec significant impact that COVID-19 pandemic had on our lives and education. However, despite our many challenges, I'm proud to say that our college experience has taught us important lessons and equipped us with valuable skills that have helped us navigate this difficult time. First, we never imagined from adapting to online classes and social distancing, yet we preserved. We learn to adapt quickly, to be flexible, to be creative, and we came our way. This skill has been proven invaluable to us, and we had to preserve, face unprecedented challenges and disruption during the pandemic. Secondly, our college experience has taught us the importance of community. We have come together as a class, supporting each other through difficult times, celebrating each other's success. 
we have formed deep and lasting connections with our peers, our professors, and our college staff. During this pandemic, this sense of community with our peers, our professors, and our college has been most important than ever. We have relied on each other for encouragement, for support, for inspiration. And this has given us the foundation to build strong and resilient communities in both in person and online. I would like to take a moment to express my grateful, heartful thanks and appreciation to the management representatives of all that you have done during our time in Swimar. Your leadership guidance has been instrumental in creating a college that is supportive, nurturing, and committed to excellence. Over the years, I had the privilege to learn from one of the best hand-on industrial profession ex professors in their respective field. The faculty members at the college are not experts in their discipline, but they are also dedicated mentors who have committed to helping us, the student, to see what they are in for. They have triggered to think out of the box, to pursue our passion, and to strive excellence in what all we do. But our journey does not end here. As we move forward, let us hold on the beauty of our dream, our passion that brought us here. Let us continue to believe in ourselves, to work hard, and never give up on our goals. Let us embark new journey, opportunities, with enthusiasm, courage, knowing that a future belongs to those who believe in their dream. In conclusion, I would like to con uh, congratulate a few people without whom this journey wouldn't have been. Firstly, I would like to thank you, my parents and my sister, because this journey wouldn't have been. Thank you for always supporting me, encouraging me, and believing me. A special thanks to Natika, ma'am. Your guidance and support has helped us navigate these challenges and complexities of this program with confidence and determination. A very special thank you to Sanchita, ma'am. Without you, I don't think I would be able to achieve this, and thank you. A very, very thank you to Ramit, sir. Your, your support that you have provided throughout the semester, your guidance and encouragement has been invaluable to my success. I would like to take a moment and express my gratitude to all the faculty members. You have inspired us to be the best version of ourselves and helped us realize our full potential. You are passionate for, for your subjects and you are committed to our success has not gone unnoticed, and I'm really grateful for that. I would also like to extend my gratitude to the admin staff, your tireless efforts in managing the day-to-day -day operations of the college, and that providers us a supportive and nurturing environment to focus on our studies and achieve our goal. I would all like to extend my gratitude and appreciation to the director of institute and chairman, Brother Alfonso Neosmani, your, your commitment to creating a diverse and inclusion institute has provided us with opportunities to learn from individuals from all the backgrounds and help us for meaningful communication with one another. You have inspired us to think critically, to push ourselves beyond our limit with one another and to never give up on a goal. Your dedication to your education and success has a profound impact on our life, and we are grateful to all that you have done. And lastly, I would like to thank my MMM and MFM fellows. Without this journey, would have not been. There are two people that I would like to thank. First is Priyanka for all that she has done, and lastly, a person without whom my journey would have been complete. You have been a valuable source of support, inspiration throughout the journey. You have been my confident, my cheerleader, my constant source of light and inspiration. Dominic, thank you. As we fo move forward to the next phase of life, let us be proud of what we have achieved. Let us use this achievement as a stepping stone towards greater things. Let us believe in ourselves. Let us believe in our dream. Let's go out in the world and let's make them a reality. Graduates, I congratulate all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Rafat.
for these nice and kind words. Your academic journey may have started with uncertainty and fear, but over the time, you grew into the confident and capable individuals who are now ready to take on the world. You have shown immense dedication, hard work, perseverance, and pursuit of your goals. These qualities will continue to be driving force behind your success in all that you do. As you move forward into the next chapter of your life, we want you to remember that your achievements are not just a reflection of your academic abilities, but also of your own character. So, to the graduates of today, we want to congratulate you on the academic success and wish you all the very best in your future endeavor. Dear audience, it gives me a great pleasure to announce the release of our institute's latest newsletter, Jaroka. This newsletter is a testament to the hard work and dedication of our team of editors and contributors who have worked tirelessly to bring you the latest news and updates from our institution. As you know, our institution has always been committed to providing quality education and fostering a culture of research and innovation. This newsletter reflects our commitment to keeping our stakeholder informed about the latest development in our institution. Through this newsletter, you will find updates on the latest research and academic achievements of our students and faculty members. I invite our chief guest for the day, Dr. Ujwala Chakradev, Chairman Brother Reverend Brother Alphonse Nasimani, Reverend Brother C. P. Joseph, Dr. Shalini Sina, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research MMS program, Dr. Sulva Raurani, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research PGDM program, to release the newsletter Jaroka. I request uh, Professor Vasudha Rao, ma'am, to please come on the dais. Can we have a round of applause? Thank you, ma'am and brother. Creating memories is a priceless gift as memories last for a lifetime. The journey of our graduating students has indeed been a memorable one with moment of learning, fun, pride, and excellence. Today, as they reach to the destination, let us have a glimpse of the student life at FIMAR. We now request our technical team to play a memory video for our graduating students to relieve the amazing time that you have spent in FIMAR.
थैंक यू आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड द वीडियो स्पेशली क्यूरेटेड फॉर यू वंस अगेन प्लीज हैव अ क्लैप फॉर योर सेल्फ द एक्ट ऑफ टेकिंग एन ओथ इज अ वे टू बाइंड वन सेल्फ टू अ स्पेसिफिक कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट और सेट ऑफ बिलीफ एंड it is a way to publicly demonstrate one's dedication and commitment to them it is a way to build trust and establish credibility with others and it can serve as reminder to oneself and others of importance of saying true to one's principle i request our graduated students to rise for graduation oath taking I also request Dr. Shalini Sinha, Director of Saint Francis Institute of Management and Research, to administer the graduation oath, followed by vote of thank. A very good evening, students. eminent graduates of mms pgdmn part time courses we will proceed for the oath taking ceremony students please put your right hand forward and repeat the graduation oath after me so let's proceed on this august occasion of graduation day i solemnly pledge that honesty sincerity and hard work shall be the cherished values of my life the motto of sfimar namely service through enterprise shall be the guiding principle of my life i promise to maintain the honor integrity and dignity of my profession i shall always place my country before self may god help me Thank you graduates you may now take your seats I now take this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks as we draw towards the end of this glorious occasion a very good evening chief guest for the day dr ujwala chakradev honorable vice chancellor sndt university mumbai Reverend Brother C P Joseph, General Counselor and Director, Saint Francis Industrial Training Institute, Chairman Saint Francis Institute of Management and Research, Reverend Brother Alphonse Nizomani, Brother Berry Paul, Director Saint Francis Institute of Hotel Management, Brother Shanti Lal Kajur, Director Saint Francis Institute of Technology, Brother T V George, and all the other Reverend Brothers. of the congregation of franciscan brothers present today on this gracious occasion respected members of governing council academic advisory council college development committee and placement advisory committee dr dilip patel former director dlle university of mumbai registrar st francis institute of management and research brother Zevia Munda director PGDM Dr Sulbha Rao Rane deputy director and MMS program head Dr G Ramesh part time program head Dr Natika Poddar dear faculty and staff members student volunteers parents family members and the distinguished MMS PGDM and part time graduates a very good evening as the director of st francis institute of management and research this is my privilege and honor as i stand before you today to deliver a heartfelt vote of thanks 
on this joyous occasion of the degree and diploma distribution ceremony of our institute. Today, we are gathered here to celebrate the accomplishments of our remarkable graduates and to express our gratitude to all those who have contributed to their success. First and foremost, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the chief guest of, our, of the day, Dr. Ujwala Chakradev, Honorable Vice Chancellor, who spared so much of time to be with us and grace this occasion. Further, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to our Chairman, Reverend Brother Alphonse Nizomani, who has played a pivotal role in shaping the success of a business school. His visionary leadership and unwavering support has been instrumental in driving our institution to greater heights with a keen understanding of the evolving business landscape and a commitment to academic excellence. He has provided the foundation upon which Svimar stands strong today. Further, I would like to extend my deepest appreciation to our esteemed faculty members, your unwavering commitment to academic excellence, your dedication to teaching and research, and your guidance and mentorship have played a pivotal role in shaping the minds and the futures of our graduating students. Your passion for imparting knowledge and your tireless efforts have equipped our MMS graduates with the skill, expertise, and the values that they need to thrive in their respective fields. I would also like to express my sincere gratitude to the parents and the family members of our graduates. Your unwavering support, encouragement, and sacrifices have been instrumental in their academic journey. Your love and belief in their abilities have provided them with the foundation they needed to excel. Today, we acknowledge the significant role that you've played in their success and share this moment of triumph with you. To the non-teaching staff, the IT team, the administrative and the maintenance personnel, I extend my heartfelt thanks for your tireless efforts and dedication in ensuring the smooth functioning of our institution. From managing administrative tasks to maintaining the campus infrastructure, your hard work behind the scenes often goes unnoticed. We are grateful for your commitment, efficiency, and attention to detail, which have all contributed to the overall all success of our institute and to that of our graduating students. I would also like to express my appreciation to the, all the distinguished guests who have graced this occasion with their presence, your valuable insights and encouragement have been instrumental in making this event a huge success. Your presence here today is a testament of the significance of this event and the remarkable achievements of our graduating class. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2022 on reaching this important milestone in your lives, you stand on the threshold of opportunities, challenges, and endless possibilities. You worked hard, persevered, and exhibited exceptional determination throughout your academic journey. Your achievements are not only bringing pride to your families and loved ones, but also serve as an inspiration to the future generation of students. As you embark on your individual career paths, I urge you to remember the values and the principles instilled in you during the time you've spent with our institute. Embrace lifelong learning, remain curious, and continue to pursue excellence in all your endeavors. Be compassionate, empathetic, and responsible citizens who strive to make a positive impact on the society. Your success will not only be measured by your accomplishments, 
but also by the positive influence you have on the lives of others i would finally last but not the least i would like to express my gratitude to dr g ramesh the event coordinator and the organizing committee members com comprising of all the faculty and the staff of the institute volunteers and everybody else who have worked tirelessly to make this graduation ceremony a resounding success your meticulous planning attention to detail and dedication have resulted in a seamless and memorable event for all your efforts have ensured that our class of 2022 have a deservable memorable graduation ceremony at the institution in conclusion i extend my heartfelt thanks to each one present here to celebrate the accomplishments of our remarkable graduates let's continue to foster excellence inspire innovation and create a positive impact on the society congratulations once again to the graduating class thank you may you all have a bright and prosperous future thank you very much thank you madam i request all of you to please rise for the national anthem जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाए तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल गायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 I request the audience to be seated until all the dignitaries and graduated students have departed from the auditorium. I also request the dignitaries to join our graduated students in the process of retreat. Hmm. Students, you have to submit your robes today before going for your dinner. The dinner arrangement. Dinner arrangement for the dignitaries are made in room number G five. For faculty and staff, room number G four. For audience preferring non-vegetarian food, arrangement is done in assembly hall. For audience preferring vegetarian food, arrangement is done in cafeteria area. Once again, thank you everyone. Jain food is arranged in the G four. 